Okay, hi everyone. Uh, today we'll be looking at um, current electricity and we will be going down uh, to the MCQ questions to discuss um, uh, the, the, and, and the structured questions to discuss um, how, how do we answer these questions in current electricity. Okay, so in this chapter, um, we mainly look at the four quantities charge, current, potential difference or EMF and resistance. And at the same time, um, we have two sets of formulas to use. We have Q equals to I times T. We have uh, V equals to I times R. Okay, so Q, the charge is equals to current times time. Potential difference is equals to current times resistance. Okay, so section A, how many of the following materials will conduct electricity? So actually, this is a basic understanding of like the conductors and so on. So which are conductors? Usually metals. So we have uh, aluminium, copper, iron. Okay. Uh, wood, plastic, paper, glass, they are non-metal so they cannot conduct electricity. Um, however, the exception is carbon. Carbon is the very special non-metal that can conduct electricity. So this is B. Four. Which of the following is the best conductor of electricity? The best conductor should be copper, metal. Okay. When there is an electrical current in the conductor, there is always a flow of charges. Okay, So it's not just protons alone. Even though proton has a positive charge, it's charges. So as long as charges flow, regardless whether is it protons or electrons, um, there will be an electrical current. Okay. However, in most of the cases, um, in most of the time, it is the electrons that are the ones that are flowing. So number four, the movement of electrons is what makes the electric current okay now number five in an electrical circuit a charge of 60 coulombs flow past a point in 10 seconds what is the current in the circuit so we'll make use of q equals to it or we make use of the original form i equals to q over t okay so the current i is equals to charge of 60 okay divided by the time taken 10 seconds so this is 6 ampere 6.0 ampere then the next one a current of 10 ampere flows through an electrical heater for 10 minutes what is the total charge so we here we use q equals to it because we're looking for the charge so here um i 10 ampere the current is 10 ampere the electric heater is 10 minutes but before that we need to change this to standard units so 10 minutes is equals to 10 times 60, 600 seconds. Okay, change to standard units, so 600 seconds. So here we have 6,000 coulombs. So answer is D. Okay, number seven, in what unit is electromotive force measured? So electromotive force is the, in, in, in layman term, in the layman language, right? It is the potential difference across the battery or the potential difference across the whole circuit okay so here this one will be in volts and potential difference measured in volts which one of the following statements is not true about the voltmeter okay so voltmeter is placed in parallel yes this is correct low resistance no it should have high resistance okay in order to prevent the current from, from flowing through the range can be changed yes use to measure potential difference yes so answer is b number 10 the diagram below shows a circuit which may be used to measure the resistance of a nichrome via z so in order to measure the resistance r is equals to v over i or you can actually get this from this formula and you rearrange it to this form okay so here you need to measure v you need to measure i so in order to measure the v the potential difference you need a voltmeter and the voltmeter as we've seen above must be connected in parallel then the next one the i the current uh is your ammeter and the ammeter must be measured uh, must be connected in series okay so the one in series should be ammeter the one in parallel should be your voltmeter. Okay, so the answer here is C. Right? A quick thing, um, a quick note though, ammeter and galvanometer. 
okay both of these they work the same way they measure the current just a different name assigned to them okay so um, ammeter galvanometer measure the current okay 11 which circuit would be suitable for measuring the resistance <coughs> of a lamp so in order to measure the resistance of a lamp same thing r is equals to v over i to measure this one you may you need to connect voltmeter in parallel and meter in series okay so ammeter in series and meter in series okay voltmeter parallel voltmeter parallel okay and that the only one that checks both boxes is b next one what is measured in ohms resistance this is a recall question on and see whether you uh, remember or not 13 the graph shows the results of an experiment to determine the resistance resistance of a wire what is the resistance of the wire so there's two ways in which you can do this the preferred way is actually the resistance is actually equals to gradient of vi graph okay so the gradient over here is 20 right the rise over run so the rise is your 20 volts which is actually our voltage the current is 4 amperes which is our yeah just the run is our 4 amperes which is our current so just nice 20 over 4 is 5 ohms so answer is c okay 14 a current flows through a resistor of value r and the potential difference so how can this relationship be defined so answer is d the form just choose the correct formula what is the current in a 5 ohm resistor and the resistor is 2.5 volts so the potential difference is 2.5 volts so v equals to ir we have 2.5 volts we don't have the i we don't have the current we have five so five times what will give you 2.5 five times half so this is 0 0.5 amperes 16 a 4 ohm resistor is connected in series with, with an ammeter and six volt battery which reading is shown on the ammeter so M meter, same thing, we are looking for the current. So V equals to IR. So 6 volt battery. Current, not sure. Resistance, 4. So 4 times what would be 6? So we just divide by 4 to get our I. So I will be equals to 1.5 ampere. So answer here is B. Okay. So 15, 16, 17. So what is going on here is in this diagram, we have 0 volt and 10 volt. So what are these actually? This is the potential. Okay. So what is this referring to? This is actually the potential. And what is the potential difference over here? So actually, we are looking for the potential difference. Okay. So what is the potential difference over here between 0 to 10? It is actually 10 volts. Okay. And here the resistance is 2 kilo ohms. Right. So this is actually 2000 ohms okay so v equals to ir the potential difference here we have 10 current we don't have the current for resistance we have 2000 okay so in order to find the i we need to divide by 2000 so i is equals to 0 0.005 ampere okay if you've got your calculator now 0 0.005 is just 5 milliampere just convert according to the prefix so answer is a okay all right next for section b here we have the conventional current ele and electron flow and we just need to fill in the blanks correctly so for um so we just need to read the questions properly and just answer them uh, accordingly so we need to mark the positive terminal and negative terminal and we need to uh, label the conventional current and our electron flow number two SI unit of current is ampere and we use ammeter to measure the current connecting in series electric current this will be the definition so we need to write this down write the exact terms down over here number four a conductor carries a current of 5.0 ampere so how long does it take for 10 coulombs so we just need to do our calculation using q equals to it right so put in the 10 coulombs into the charge put in the 5 amperes into the current and find the time so 5 times 2 seconds will give you 10 so the answer is 2 seconds number 5 we have direct current flowing in one direction and we have alternating current in um, reversing back and forth okay 
to fill in this blank so what are these um, um components so this is a dry cell for one we call it dry cell many we call it battery right many then it will form a battery but if only it is one alone it is a dry cell Number two it is an emitter okay clue given by the a c this is a fixed resistor okay d is a variable resistor okay because the arrow suggests that um, you can actually um, change the resistance on the knob okay and this thing another name for this thing is your real step e will be your voltmeter f is a switch g is a fuse so what is the difference between fixed resistor variable resistor and fuse fixed resistor there's nothing inside the rectangle variable resistor there's an arrow there to signify that you can change the some knob and the fuse here you have a wire inside the thing to um, which actually to sim symbolize that you can actually it will melt when there's ex an excessive current for h this is your light bulb or your lamp okay all right seven the si unit of emf and potential difference the si unit is volts right and we use voltmeter to measure both emf and potential difference by connecting it in parallel the instrument is also used to measure the electromotive force okay or the emf of a battery okay by connecting it in parallel with a battery so to measure the potential difference across a resistor okay the voltmeter we connect it like this okay so this is across the resistor okay then in order to measure the electromotive force of a battery okay in order to measure the electromotive force of a battery we just need to connect it across the battery okay so this is how we use the voltmeter to connect and uh, find the potential difference across any two points okay okay next resistance it is defined as the ratio of the potential difference across a component to the current flowing through it the si unit of the resistance is the ohms okay the emitter is designed okay c the emitter is designed to have very low resistance okay so that the potential difference across it is negligible or so that the current will flow through it okay for d because it is connected in parallel the voltmeter is designed to have very high resistance okay so that the current flowing through it is negligible so we don't want any current flowing through it and at the same time um yeah it is there to block the current from flowing through it number nine which circuit should be used to find the resistance of resistor r it is c now take note again now as the current flows from the as the conventional current flows from the positive terminal all the current should be able to flow through your emitter so the resistance must be low for the current to flow through and at this point in order to prevent the current from from flowing through the voltmeter and to really let the current flow through the resistor we need high resistance to block the current from flowing in through the voltmeter so here we have the c and d okay for this point over here okay all right Right, then for number 10 is something that we went through in class okay so we have a switch uh, we have a battery of 12 volts resistor of 2 kilo ohms 2000 ohms and we have an emitter so calculate the current we use vir so 12 i and 2000 so we just rearrange the variables and numbers solve it to get 0 0.0060 ampere and the charge is um q equals to it q for charge i 0 0.006 amperes current then time t is 300 so multiply together 0 0.18 coulombs right so that's the end of the um, current electricity um, worksheet so hope you have a good time studying